Hey everyone, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're going to be looking at what are the top mining GPUs in 2021. Now, much of the data provided to me has been through community members such as yourself, so I greatly appreciate all your help and a number of different data sources. But we want to see what is the top manufacturer, right? NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, as well as what are the top cards that miners are utilizing today. And we'll look at this data at the end of 2022. And if you like content like this, please make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, and make sure to give us a like before you continue watching. So I posted a poll on Twitter. As you can see here, Nvidia has a staggering 75% uh, over AMD and of course people who might just focus on CPU and hard drive mining Intel was not put into this obviously I know a lot of integrated GPUs from Intel uh, but they're not really profound in the GPU mining scene obviously we're still waiting on the Arc Alchemist to come out so maybe this poll or data will change in the future moving on I also posted a question on Reddit and many of you commented and I really appreciate it so to go over the data that we have here, basically what I have round out is as far as AMD is concerned, we had about 15 RX 580s, 15 RX 5700s, 11 RX 6600s, 7 Vega GPUs, whether it's Vega 56 or 64, 6 RX 6700s, but there was little to no RX 6800, 6800 XT, or 6900 XT. Now the reason being is because if you really want to mine on those upper end GPUs from AMD, they roughly get the same hash rate at the same power draw. So rather than spending all that money, unless you're planning on using it for other work like uh, workstation work, AutoCAD design or anything like that, you might as well get just the RX 6800 non-XT because you're just going to get the same results. While the 6700 XT is actually a good performer as far as its efficiency, and the 66 and 6600 XT are good as well. Moving on to NVIDIA, we had 36 RTX 3060s. That's a lot. And they were both mostly LHR, but also a mix of non-LHR. So whether it's a, uh, a Revision 1, Rev 2, Rev 3, whatever it may be, 3060s are very dominant in the data on Reddit. Then we have 33 RTX 3070s. Much of these actually were mostly full hash rate, while the lesser part was obviously LHR. So I'm very interested. A lot of users probably got their hands on the non-LHR cards towards the beginning of the release, uh, but the 3070 is obviously holding a high number here with the 3080 right behind it at 30 total users using RTX 3080. 14 users using the GTX 1660, mostly the supers, but the TI is sprinkled in here and there, and there's also a non-TI variant. Um, 11 RTX 3090s, 11 RTX 30, uh, 2070s, most of them normal, but with a few sprinkled in of, of 2070 supers. 2060, the same thing, 11 of them, normal, regular 2060s with a few supers sprinkled in. And we have NVIDIA releasing the RTX 2060 12 gig coming in the future. Uh, I don't see that, for me personally, I don't see that being an attractive buy, considering it's the same bus bandwidth and all that good stuff. Yes, it gets more memory, but it may not get a substantial amount of hash rate. only gets a few more from the data that we've seen so far. But we'll see how the rest of the community reacts. I find that card to be more of a gaming card because of the 12 gigs of memory being utilized in much of the AAA titles that are more memory intensive. Then we had 11 GTX 1070. So the 10 series is very much alive. We had 8 RTX 3060 TIs, obviously uh, a mix of LHR and non-LHR, about even. 6 GTX 1080 TIs and 4 GTX 1060s. So with that data on Reddit, we can see that most of you are using NVIDIA GPUs just like we saw on Twitter. Moving on, when we start to look at the data on Hive, and must, much of this data, I'm going to be real with you, is probably going to be coming from like a farm, whether it's mid-scale, small, uh, maybe a few large ones here and there, because it's much easier for those farms to manage their, their rigs and systems through Hive. It's actually very efficient to do so. And you can see on the AMD side of things, there's 34%, 34% of the AMD GPUs are RX 580s. Still a very strong card. I mean, the 480s lasted for so long. 580s lasted for so long. 
Uh, 590s came out, which is basically a 580. I mean, look, even the 480s are still, they're still in the mix. So AMD's older cards are still hashing away, stacking them sats. Then second place, we got the RX uh, 570. Third place, the RX 5700 XT, about 8%. And then moving on, 570 again, 4 gig, 470, 4 gig, and then the 6700 XT, 12 gigabyte. So realistically, looking at AMD's data, the 500 series and the 5000 series is still very much relevant in the crypto mining game. Moving on to NVIDIA, we see the top one here, just based off of Hive's data, is the RTX 3070, 8 gigabyte. Now we can't tell if it's LHR or non-LHR. I'm willing to bet that it's just a mix of LHR and full hash rate. But the second place card, which is very interesting to me, is the GTX 1660 Super. This card is a profound card. It's a good entry-level way for new users to get into the mining scene. Yes, it only has 6 gigabytes of memory, but you can still mine many of the different algos and still mine them all pretty profitably. So for the 1660 Super to be up there, I'm just going to say... Any of the 16 series GPUs are pretty darn good, whether it's the Super or TI or the non-TI variant. I know a lot of miners in my community that are hunting for those GPUs as we speak. With third place, 10% uh, is the RTX 3060 Ti, probably going to be a mix of full hash rate and light hash rate. And then fourth place, the 3080 10GB at 6%. Obviously, we got some mining specific GPUs right there, but you can see that the 3000 series is dominating as far as the hive data but if you wanted me to kind of wrap this data in a pretty bow bear with me because we're going to look at steam's hardware library where they show the gtx 1060 is still got the top share of the overall gpus now this is just primarily focused on gaming but a lot of users who are at home that do game all the time do oftentimes mine when they're not gaming so the 1060 is still very relevant still running really good but you can see that the share of, or the percentage that it held over the past couple months has diminished while other gpus start to step up in its place with the 1650 uh non-ti or anything like that actually making up some of that just just a small percentage and then the 1660 ti isn't too far behind with the rtx 2060 right there in fourth position while the first amd gpu that we see is the rx 580 uh the five uh, 5700 is a little bit further down right here but you can see that much of the steam hardware library is dominated by nvidia and the 16 series gpus seem to be the go-to with only a few of the 3000 series sprinkled in uh, like maybe a laptop variant or a desktop rtx 3070 so looking at this data that we have here we can see that even in hive much of the landscape as far as gpus is is, is controlled or mostly NVIDIA uh, with 44% being AMD. So it's safe to say that NVIDIA GPUs are what most miners are going for and I can understand that because NVIDIA is kind of the all-around card. It, it AMD may be more efficient at mining specific coins whether it's a ETH hash or Dagger or Kryptonite or whatever it may be. While NVIDIA may not be the best at every single one it's a good all-around card for different algorithms different coins stuff like that so if you wanted me to paint you a picture and say hey these gpus are the best which i did in a previous video long story short what i can say is as far as amd uh the 5000 series you can't go wrong with otherwise the 580 the 590 is still very much relevant try to get the 8 gig model if you can instead of the 4 gig just so you have that extra cushion and then, of course, the 6000 series, whether it's the 6600 XT, non-XT, and the 6700 XT are pretty darn good cards. NVIDIA side, I'm going to say the 3080, the 3070, and the 3060 Ti are my cards to pick. And I mentioned that in my video to Seb's Fintech. But the 1660 Super and Ti are really powerful cards and a great budget way to get into the mining game. You can see that it has much of the market share whether it's hive or steam or whatever it may be so don't sleep on those cards whatsoever but that is going to do it for me today i want to hear from you down in the comments below what gpus are you mining with what gpus you have and what gpus you plan on getting put all that information in the comments below so that way future users can come check it out and see what we're all using and help them make a determination on what GPUs they should possibly get in the future. Besides that, it's going to do it for me today in today's video. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. 
Don't forget to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on as well as check out some of the links in the description that help support us and what we do here. Besides all that, you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.